Hey folks, and welcome back to Pattaya. Behind me is the largest naturist resort in Pattaya, and also the largest naturist resort in Thailand. And according to their website, even the largest naturist resort in all of Southeast Asia. That's what we're gonna do today. We were invited here. We're gonna go take a look with a big group of people, about 10 of us in total. So we'll go in, we'll see what's doing. By the way, naturist, uh, kind of like the new keyword for nudist. So you ready to go in and get naked? Well, alrighty then. So that's right, and it's called the Dragonfly, the Dragonfly Resort. That's where we are. The goal of this place is to make kind of a jungle oasis, and I think they've achieved that. On the way out here, I'll show you what it looks like. You gotta go down some kind of little dodgy roads. It, this isn't far off Highway 36 though. So on the edge, the fringe of Pattaya, but you need a big piece of land. So I understand why it's out here. It's about 20, 25 minutes from downtown. Like I said, you kind of are out here in the middle of nowhere and then all of a sudden you do have this big lovely resort. So what all's here and how much is it will go into all that. But last year I went to a smaller naturist resort right in the heart of Pattaya and this place is easily 10 times that size. That was essentially just a pool and a little restaurant. But here it's kind of next level. They've got all kinds of features. They have a full onsen here. They've got this lake, they've got spa houses, plus hotel rooms, we'll, we'll look at the hotel rooms. There's a special right now, though, I believe till the end of March for 300 baht a person. So if you come as a couple, 600 baht per couple, let's say that. Normally it's 600 baht per person. So it's almost like uh, one admission and your partner gets in free. So we have a, a little group out here that are, we're taking advantage of the special, I guess you could say. Last year when I came to the, to the other naturist resort, there was a lot of questions, some very good questions. Maybe some not so good, but all in jest, I guess. Well, one of the questions was, did you bring sunscreen? <laughs> yes, I brought sunscreen. I did last year, I did this year. So, th so there you go. Uh, one of the other questions is, is, well, is the staff naked? I mean, yes and no. Uh, so so the, some of the staff members have occasion to go out into the area where customers pull up, where they could potentially greet customers or the maintenance people for the outside of the resort. And those are not, those are fully clothed. But the manager here greeted us and she was. So um, it just depends what their function is. And if they have more of a dedicated function to the interior of the resort, why then uh, at least the one that I met uh, was nude as well. So hopefully that answers that question. But I guess the, for the most part, they're not. So I also went over this last year, but naturism, the naturist tourism sector, is the fastest growing sector in Thailand. There's supposed to be nine resorts in total in Thailand, and this just being one of them. But when you look at all of the other sectors of tourism, there's medical tourism, there's eco-tourism, adventure tourism, all kind of small niches. This one's supposedly the fastest growing niche. So I know it doesn't appeal to everybody, but it definitely appeals to some. And to wit, this place is not full today, but there's actually way too many people here. I can't even show you the, I can't even film. I, I can show you, but I can't film the main pool area because there's just so many people about and I can't invade anybody's privacy. But I, my goal is to try to show you what the resort is without doing that. And I think I think uh, I can do that. But you pay your admission, you come in, you're given a locker, given a couple bottles of water, you're given a towel, a lovely brown towel like what I'm wearing here, and a couple bottles of water. You make your way over to your locker. That's where you can stash all your stuff, your clothes, whatever, whatever it is you want to put in there. And if you want to take your phone or personal valuables or whatever, you can take that into the pool area, but all of your all of, all of your other things are secure. And you get a key for that locker, of course, which you take with you. And you come back into the main pool area. Now, basically just a swimming pool there and some lounge chairs, umbrellas to keep you out of the sun. But right off the pool area is one of the new features here, which is the onsen. And I think this is why this is the biggest resort of its kind in Thailand because they keep building onto it. I'll show you another example of that in a minute. But the onsen is relatively new here. We'll go in there. I had to wait till there was nobody in there except our group. Our group was okay. They don't mind. They don't mind. In fact, one person specifically I brought just to, just to kind of be in the video so it's not all empty scenes. But the onsen, they have 
a Japanese style, so you have the very hot pool. You have the very cold pool. The hot pool is 39 and a half degrees Celsius. The cold pool, 18. But I'll tell you this, the cold pool feels a lot colder than 18 when you get in it. Uh, you're supposed to stay in there for two minutes to kind of let your body adjust to it. And then the great big pool is like a warm pool. I, I'm not sure the temperature on that one, but it's warmer than a swimming pool, uh, but not hot like the, like the little hot pool. These now there's saunas as well, right off the pool. And then there's these specialty rooms that are lakeside here. So kind of between the pool and the lake are guest rooms. And then beyond that, right here on the lakeside, you have some like specialty spa rooms. At least one or two of them have like a great big, like little jacuzzi thing sitting out there. And you can sit in that jacuzzi and overlook. It's right over here behind me as I talk to you. I'm actually stood on what would be a walking track around the whole thing. So you can walk around this path that's very, uh, there's a wall on one side, of course, and then the other side would be the resort, but I'm kind of out here in the hinter regions of the resort here again, so I don't impose upon anybody's privacy. But it's a lovely little walk around here, around this lake, and on the other side of that lake are these spa rooms. One's outfitted like a massage room. I saw a sign in there for 500 baht, and you can take a massage while you look out on the lake, or maybe you just want to soak in one of the, the uh, whirlpool baths, and you can do that under a shaded roof looking out at the lake. Very nice, all very nice. Not sure I've ever seen anything quite like that. Then there's a great big uh, games room with maybe the biggest pool table, snooker table. I'm probably saying this wrong. It's probably not pool or snooker. I don't know what it is, but it's reminiscent of a pool table. Uh, there's a regular pool table in there that's a blue, but the green one is this huge monster table in there. So I'm not even really positive sure what that is, but a very nice uh, room for that. And then on, kind of on the other side of that, is a full gym, a full workout with weights, free weights, machines, kind of something maybe reminiscent of a, of a condo or hotel fitness center. So you have that. So now it wouldn't be a resort without guest rooms. They, they just cleaned one of these rooms and let me in there, but very nicely appointed, very nice room with a great big patio. In fact, a room that you'd be pleased with at any hotel, a big, big, soft, comfortable bed, separate washroom, and then the patio area, you could almost have a little soiree out there, uh, seating for, I don't know, four or five, six people out there. Now, here's the thing with the rooms. I, I believe this room was 2,200 baht. Now, I'm here on a Saturday. So weekends are their busier time, and hence, the rooms are more on the weekend. This isn't anything new. A lot of hotels charge more on the weekends, but not a bad price for the room, and that does include breakfast. They have an entire breakfast uh, room. The breakfast is only till 10 o'clock, and then I think from 10 o'clock onwards, it reverts into just a general cafe called the Dragonfly Cafe. We took a meal in there, some of my group and I, and it's mostly Thai food for, for the offerings, but reasonably priced and very good food. Uh, drink, also uh, alcoholic drinks, there's a full bar, and they can bring you these drinks even poolside if you want. There's a waitress to do that. So you add all that up, it's a very nice experience out here between the food, the bar, the onsen, I mean, you could, spend, you could spend your whole day just in that onsen. So that's a great addition to this. And I'm not even sure that since they build that, that they raised the price here. So I think if you were ever here a year or so ago before the days of the onsen, it, it may be still the same price with the onsen. So it's like you're getting that thrown in. But the whole experience is, uh, is quite nice if you're into the whole naturist scene. And I, I kind of like being out here, just uh, the experience of the getting in the pools and the water over your whole body without any kind of clothes sticking to you, swimsuits, etc. I think that's a big part of it. And in talking to some of the other folks, that's what they seem to enjoy the most. They have a very strict policy here though, if, if everything being very professional. So it's, it's not any kind of swinger place or anything like that. It's, it's very professional, no public displays of affection. It's, you know, just like your neighborhood pool, but everybody's naked. Feeling in my bones. I could feel it in my face Hands in the sky I could feel the winds of change You live and you learn And I hope I've seen enough To make something right And make up for what I Surprised by you. 
You know, last year when I did this, one of these at, at a small naturist resort here, I learned a lot. It was a very difficult video to edit. I learned from that. So the sunglasses where the sunglasses had very dark or mirrored frames. In those frames, there was things going on that maybe you weren't supposed to see. So I learned not to wear those when I'm doing these segments. And then behind me, if there's a glass pane behind me or something, same thing. The reflection of the glass pane could reveal more than we wanted to here. So I learned a little bit from that one. And I think uh, this place being more of a sprawling ground, having a lot more just open spaces, it's a lot easier to do this, plus learning what I learned last year. A couple things you might want to bring, sunscreen, sunglasses, but the towels they have for you, oh, flip-flops. Even if you wear shoes here, you'll want flip-flops. That's about it. If you want to eat at the restaurant or get something to drink from the pool bar or whatever, that can go in like a tab and you can pay that all at the end. So you will pay your admission fee in cash when you, when you arrive and then any subsequent incidentals, you just pay at the end the cumulative total of whatever your bill is. So that's convenient. No need to carry wallets because after all, you don't really have a pocket to put it in anyway. Okay, we had fun. Something else here to do in Patia. Have fun, Sanook Mai? Yes, yeah, Sanook. Sanook. <laughs> All right, that's all it's going to be. <laughs> so yeah, special thanks to my model friend here, Puppy, for coming out and adding a little ambiance to the, to the day and to the video. I'll show you guys right outside the gate. Here's what I was talking about earlier. They're expanding again here. The largest naturist resort is still under construction. So these will be pool villas over here. They will actually already got some uh, partially erected. I'll show you over here. But this whole area... I guess we'll become part and parcel of it and pool villa. So that'll be another, I don't know, another lodging opportunity out here. Also, big thanks to the staff, all the all the people at the Dragonfly Naturist Resort for making our day special. And all of my naturist friends I met out there, both new and old, it was a good day and nice to see everybody. Of course, back home today, it's Buddha Day. That's the day that offerings are given. It changes every day, every week. It's not the same day of the week all the time. It's hard to keep up with, but V knows when it is. She always has the offerings prepared. Next time, we'll look at something else here in Patia, another gem, but for this one, got to go ahead and leave it off right here. And as usual, I'll thank you for watching, and until next time, bye for now. <laughs>